The next grammar point is the perfective participles. In the next few grammar points, we will learn how to make the perfective tenses. The perfective tenses are made with the help of the perfective participles. So let's first learn how to make the perfective participles. We have been making distinction between the consonant ending roots and the vowel ending roots in some previous grammar points, mainly in the imperative and also in the future tense. We will make the same distinction here again. The verb dekhna to see is a verb with a consonant ending root. Dekh is the verb root. Similarly, chalna to walk also has the consonant ending root. Chal is the consonant ending root. On the other hand, the verb khana to eat has a vowel ending root. Kha is the verb root and the root ends in the vowel a, kha. And sona to sleep is also a verb with a vowel ending root. The verb root is so. To make the perfective participles, you need to add the endings to the root of the verb. For the consonant ending root, you add a for masculine singular participle, a for masculine plural and e for feminine singular and plural. Here is the table you can see the participles of the verb with the consonant ending roots. The first verb is khelna to play. The root is khel, a consonant ending root. The masculine singular participle is khela. The masculine plural participle is khele. And the feminine singular and plural participles are kheli. For dekhna, to see, dekh is the root. The masculine singular participle is dekha. The masculine plural participle is dekhe. And the feminine singular and plural participles are dekhi. For chalna, walk, the root is chal. And the masculine singular is chala. Masculine plural is chale. And feminine singular and plural participles are chali. Similarly, for marna, to hit. Mar is the root, the participles are mara, mare, mari. For the verbs with the vowel ending root, you need to add the following endings to the root. They are a little different from the consonant ending roots. For masculine singular, you add ya. For masculine plural, there are alternate endings. You can either add a or you can add ye. They both sound quite similar, but the spellings are a little different. For the feminine singular and plural too, there are alternate endings. You can either add e or you can add the ending ye. Again, they both sound very similar, but there's a little difference in their spellings. So here's the table that shows how to make the perfective participles for the verbs with the vowel ending roots. The first verb is ana, to come. The root is a. The masculine singular participle is aya. The masculine plural participle is either ae or ae. And the feminine singular and plural participles are ai or ai. The next verb is khana, to eat. The root is kha. The masculine singular participle is khaya. The masculine plural participle is khae or khae. And the feminine singular and plural participles are khai or khai. The next verb is sona, to sleep. The root is so. The masculine singular participle is soya. The masculine plural participle is soe or soe. And the feminine singular and plural participles are soi or soi. Similarly, for rona to cry, ro is the root. The participles are roya, roe or roe, and roi and roi. There's another set of verbs that have some specific rules for making the perfective participles. The verbs with the root ending in long e or long u, the e and u get shortened for some forms. Keep in mind such verbs are very few in number, not more than 10 in total, and they are not very common, except pina to drink. Below is the table. For pina to drink, the root is p. The e gets shortened for the masculine forms, and the feminine forms are p. For masculine singular, pia. For masculine plural, pa or pa. And the feminine forms are p. Same with gina, to live, to stay alive. For gina, gia, ga or ga for masculine forms and g for feminine. Similar is the pattern with the chuna, to touch. The u gets shortened in all the forms. Chua for masculine singular, chue for masculine plural, and chui for feminine singular and plural. There are some irregular verbs. Here is the list of them and their forms. Karna to do. The masculine singular form is kia. 
the masculine plural form is kie or kie and the feminine forms are ki. You might hear people using the regular forms such as kara, kare and kari, but keep in mind they are not standard. For lena to take and dena to give, the forms are very similar. For lena, lia, masculine singular, lie or lie for masculine plural and li for feminine singular and plural. Similarly for dena, dia for masculine singular, die or die for masculine plural and di for feminine singular and plural. Here we have two more verbs that are very common and have irregular forms. Jana to go, the forms are gaya, masculine singular, gay or gay for masculine plural and gai or gai for feminine singular and plurals. And finally the verb hona to be hua, masculine singular, hue, masculine plural and hui for feminine singular and plural.